And the last and the final thing that we want to cover is if your heart's right, you want to serve and your head's in the right place and you got good thoughts and feelings about serving and your hands are it, what keeps it all going and keeps the evil one away is what are your habits? And Jesus had five habits that we'll cover in different ways today. One was solitude. <laughs> you know, he went off by himself a yeah. number of times. How many of you ever spend some time in quiet without, you know, reading something or listening and all? I see some hands up and that's great. I bet it's peaceful. And Jesus did it in powerful times. He he did it right after he was baptized. He went away for 40 days. I mean, Satan was stupid to pick on him after 40 days of, you know, finding out who he was and whose he was. And then he went off after John the Baptist uh, was killed, and he found that out, I think, to deal with grief. He went off after he fed the 5,000, I think, probably to deal with, with pride, you know, because they wanted to make him king. My favorite was he was healing one day, and all the disciples were getting really excited. This could be a really good business. And uh, that night, you know, he healed Peter's mother-in-law, and the crowds the next day were gathered. And the line in the Bible, I just love, early the next morning, Jesus went off to a solitary place by himself to pray. And when the disciples uh, rose up, they ran around, where is he and all? And they came to get him and said, come, everybody's waiting for you. Did he care about those uh, people? Sure he did, there was no more caring. But he said, no, let's go to the next village so I can preach, for that is why I have come. Because there's going to be positive things that are going to draw you away from things that you're supposed to do. And so solitude, prayer, he was constantly praying to his father. You know, prayer is just so important. Don't make it your last uh, resort. Make it your first response. And then what he uh, did is he knew scripture. That was always blew my mind. I mean... You know, the devil tempts him, and he could have said, hey, get out of here. You know, I'm second in command at best, you know. What did he do? He said each time it is written. He knew the scriptures, and you need to know the scriptures. That's so powerful. Uh, third, he had a small group that he could be more intimate with. Do you have people around you that can tell you the truth and you can share more with, like he did with John and James and Peter? And then finally, and this is probably the most important habit of all, he believed in the unconditional love of his father. Absolutely. Those are really important habits. career, which was about just a little over a year ago, I was the president of a Japanese multinational company in the Philippines. I felt successful um, having been in the leadership position. And of course, um, earning much, but um, unfortunately though, that took so much time away from family. My relationship with my wife at the time was, was not good, and it's just not good. I mean, we, we, we almost separated at the time. What really hit me was um, two years ago when I got involved with, uh, you know, Did Like Jesus. The fact that the name of Jesus is, is, is in the title, uh, going in there, I said, this is going to be a different, different kind of leadership. Did Like Jesus is all about being a servant leader, not only at work, but more importantly at home. The joy, you know, the, the relationship with Jesus and the relationship that is being built with my wife and, and my family, my two daughters. It's, it's just incredible, it's just better. After I left the, the corporate world, so to speak, I decided that I should start you know, putting together my own company. My vision would be bring in biblical worldview. 
I could be more of a servant leader and help others achieve their full potential. I'd like them to see Jesus in me. I'd like them to see how I could lead like Jesus.